Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back barbecue friends. Today, we're gonna be cooking ribs, but we're gonna be cooking them both on the Kamado and the pellet grill. We'll do a comparison between the two. It was Joel in the comments who asked me to do this, and I thought, what a great idea. So I imagine they're both gonna taste pretty good, but there's gonna be some differences. So we'll do the cook, we'll do the side-by-side -side comparison, see what happens. I'm about an hour before I'm gonna put my meat on. With the Kamado, I like to get the fire going a little bit earlier and get that nice venting and the conditioning just right before we put our meat on. Here's how I'm gonna start that. like to use the hardwood lump charcoal. Give that a light, let that burn up. There you can see all the newspapers pretty much gone. I got some nice glowing embers in there. And I want to add a couple pieces of cherry wood in here. The advantages of the Kamado is you can add smoke wood like this where the pellet grow, it's just whatever the pellets give you. So we're going to take advantage of that. Got those there in there like that. Going to put our deflector tray in here. We're going to put a water tray in there. We're also going to put a water tray in the pellet grill. Okay, we're going to close this down. We're going to open our top vent to about around position one. We're going to close the bottom to about two sets of holes there. There were still about 45 minutes or so from putting the meat on. The pellet grill will start up about 15 minutes before. The ease of the pellet grill is you just plug it in, load the pellets, set your temperature, and it only takes about 15 minutes to get up to temperature. So we'll see you back then when it's time to put the meat on. Okay, for our pellets, we're going to be using a hardwood pellet, and it's an apple blend. We're also going to put a water tray in the pellet grill as well. Okay, we're at the point now. Time to put our ribs on. So we're using both the Louisiana Grills LS1000 pellet grill and we're using the Louisiana Grills Kamado grill. They're both ready to go. So let's prepare these. We're going to put the same spices on the ribs we're going to treat them the same the only difference between the two cooks is going to be the barbecue that it's cooked on okay let's prep these start off with just the dry rub now i got these at my local butcher the great thing about buying at the butcher like this you're not paying for all those bits you're just going to cut off they're pretty much ready just to go on the grill Put two racks here on the Kamado. Now we'll put the other racks here on the pellet grill. So both grills go on. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out. Like I say, the ability for the Kamado to introduce smoke into the meat is a little bit better. I'm anticipating that one to give a much different flavor than the pellet grill. But we'll see in the end, see what we got. So we're doing a two in one method. Two hours on the grill with dry rub, and then one hour wrapped with some barbecue sauce. So we'll see you back at the two hour mark, and we'll see where we're at with both cooks, and see if we can maintain the same timeline. I believe it was Michael that commented, the Gregster, he's representing the 519. So hopefully I don't steer you wrong here, and we can end up with just a delicious cook. You're in my area. You could check out Medell Brothers Meats. The great thing about going to a butcher like that, do you plan a barbecue maybe in a couple days where you're gonna do a low and slow and you know exactly what you're gonna cook? You can get exactly what you want. Or you're at work and you, it's a nice day and you decide, hey, I want a barbecue after work. You can go in there, look for some ideas, talk to the butcher. You could see Greg in there. It's an easy name to remember. Or go see your local butcher. That's really where you're gonna get the best meats just ready for the grill. Okay, we'll see you back in two hours. Okay, we are at the two hour mark on this cook. Let's open up both these barbecues 
We'll have a look at what the ribs look like, but we are gonna wrap them. First for the Kamado here. Got a deep, dark color around here. Got some nice bone pull happening. These are looking good and smelling great. Now let's go check out the pellet grill. Okay, let's open up these. Oh, ha, ha, same thing, nice bone pull. Not quite as much as a dark color, but these are coming along nicely, and they are also ready to wrap. So let's wrap these up. Oh, that's looking good. Okay, each rib's gonna get two sticks of butter and some sweet sauce. And we're gonna wrap it. Set it back on the grill. Okay, we got all these guys wrapped back on their grills. We got one more hour to cook here. Then we're gonna pull these off, let them rest. Then it's time for the taste test. Okay, we're at the three hour mark. It's time to pull these off the grills. Okay, we'll come back for the taste test in comparison. There, we got both our racks here. Let's unwrap them, see what we got. And that's... Okay, this one's from the Kamado Grill. And this one's from the Pellet Grill. You could say, maybe this one's a little bit darker. But you could definitely smell the smoke from this one. But let's do the taste test, check the texture, and we'll go from there. Okay. Get into that. Get into that. Well, the pellet grills is definitely a little more red. This one's got a little more darkness to it. Let's see how it pulls apart. Mmm, okay. The meat definitely has to pull off the bone there. Definitely some smoke flavor here. Definitely got the smoke flavor just... The smoke flavor is way up front on this one. Then you taste the spices. But the meat's nice and tender. Like, pull off the bone. Like, you really got, you gotta pull it. I'd say perfectly cooked. Okay, now the pellet grill. Mmm. Okay, definitely those, the spices come through. You definitely taste more of that pork flavor. Mmm. Boy. Again, very similar cut. Got to pull them off the bone. But, very tender, cooked very nice. All in all, kind of a little different than what I expected. I'd say the smoke's a little too overwhelming on the Kamado. I actually prefer the meat from the pellet grill. It's a nice simple cook, plug in, set the temperature and go. The Kamado's got a little more maintenance to do with the fire as far as venting and building that fire and that smoke profile. Of course, there's many things I could have done different. I didn't have to add smoke wood to the Kamado, but I wanted to give it that extra profile, which I thought was gonna give the ribs that edge. But all in all, 
it's up to the person eating the ribs whether you prefer a smoke flavor or not. Well, that's it for my uh, test. Like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, click that subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg.